everybody, iGamer Podcast here. Here was episode 18 of Bioshock Infinite. Uh, 17 was, like, kind of ridiculously long. Um, I did not expect that. Um, but there was, like, no breaks in there. It was just 40 minutes straight. Um, either way, interesting episode. Worth checking out. Um, so you should do that. So I am now helping... I'm trying to find Lady Comstock. Or fi find a bunch of terrorists for Lady Comstock. It turns out, like, Lady Comstock is, like, alive. And, uh... Yeah, it's kind of... It's kind of undead. Sup, son? Oh, missed there. Alright, so if I shock them and I headshot them. That's fine. I'm I'm actually doing okay in that fight. Footsteps seem to go down to the vault. So it's convenient. There's a sniper booker. Yes, there is. One shot, one kill. Wow. Me a job in the profit business. That's a that's a lot. Tear. Open that one up. And if I do this, this uh, sabotage, all their patents, all of them, Mr. Fink. Now, why does the Prophet want these two killed? For the same reason Lady Comstock lies buried. Child. And why does he want me to do it? Because only you can make it seem an accident. I don't think that's... The real Lady Comstock. I think she's... I think she's a combination of herself and my feelings towards her. What do you mean? I'm just so angry. At her and, and at my father. I think she's her, but she's also partly me. I, I'm not even sure I understand it myself. The Archangel tells me that Columbia will only survive so long as my line sits the throne. Yet Lady Comstock produces no child. I have done what a man can do, yet there is no child. I've asked Lutessa about the matter, but even she refuses to help. Interesting. Oh. All 
Alright, now where's that sound coming from? There's some footsteps. Find the final tear. Joy. I do not have enough salts for this. Uh, all right. What's going to do this? Um, maybe that. I think I think I did beat her there. Ooh, there's a safe back there. Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? No problem. All yours. Some cool. Go we'll figure, you know, we're, we're, we are in a bank and in a vault, so there's money all over the place. Apparently, they just leave money lying around. See what's in this next area. That flickering light is kind of hard on the eyes. Oh. You go the wrong direction? Nope. No. You're supposed to leave there. She's screwing with us. Let's go here. Find where I'm supposed to go here. That looks promising. Okay, oh, 
following. There's been no help. No help whatsoever. That was a bad idea. The falling logic in this game seems to be rather inconsistent. I mean, you jump off of the, the rail lines, no issue whatsoever, from like huge distances, but if we fall a floor deliberately, then all of a sudden we take massive amounts of damage. Let's just hit up the dollar bill here and uh, all the heals. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Um, let's see what we got here. The shock duration would be nice. I have been using that one a lot. We might save up for the chain aid. In fact, I'm going to do that. So I'm looking for 1265. That's my that's how much money I need. footsteps. Show me the footsteps. There we are. Footsteps. Oh. It was like those footsteps were very inconsistent. Elizabeth seems to know where to go. Footsteps. Footsteps showing me I'm in the right direction. So as much as I'm like all for fitting a story in here, it's kind of uh, delaying things for the sake of delaying them. Like I'm, I'm kind of just following Elizabeth at this point, and I'm kind of, I wouldn't say cheating, but I'm definitely using the uh, the navigation aid to its fullest potential. So I was already here. Oh, this is not the way to go. Damn you, Elizabeth, you know nothing. Who know nothing? It's kind of just walking around for the sake of walking around and taking in the environment. Just don't get me wrong. It's a nice environment, but this is now interfering with me taking in the storyline.
I also have a charge now, don't I? There we are. Ah, Lutessa's place, yes. Help me out with this lock. Give me a second. It's done. Cool. Well, let me in. Here. You are. That's my mother. I assure you, madam, my sexual interest in your dear prophet is non-existent. And madam would tell us. Furthermore, the man is quite sterile. That's a lie. Come here, you little bastard! I want her out of my house. Sterile. They were my parents. And what were you to them? A child that. Oh, they're Lutesses. Why would the twins send us to find three truths? Were, were the tears somehow related through a, a kind of quantum field, or were they? Elizabeth wanted you to understand her. Who? You mean. seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. Interesting. Lady Comstock seems to believe the child is a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. I told the poor woman the truth, that the child was a product of our little contraption, but I think she found that less believable than her delusion. Huh. So, Elizabeth is a byproduct of something. I'm dying a lot. I could, I could deal with the help. Just what the doctor ordered. Over here. Comstock has sabotaged our contraption. Yet we are not dead. A theory. We are scattered amongst the possibility space. But my brother and I are together, and so I am content. He is not. The business with the girl lies unresolved. But perhaps there is one who can finish it in our stead. Interesting. All right. Back to Comstock House. There's some flash in there. Lockpick? Lockpick? There we are. I think it was this way. I feel like it was a lot of right turns. Yeah, there we are. She killed Lady Comstock. Lotessus. And anyone who knew the truth was better dead than alive. I'm not even his daughter. I'm just some specimen to be poked and prodded. No, you are not. Elizabeth, listen to me. What you've been through, ain't nobody in the world deserves that. Walker. We are getting out of here, you got it? We're never gonna have to look back. Comstock Gate. Alright. I hated you for 
not being my mother. Really? Gotta go through this again? Uh, I need a little distraction here. Let's go for Murder of Crows. Because everyone else is irrelevant. Oh! Oh, that wasn't good. Oh, I've seen that screen way too much. That's... That is going to be useful here. All right, or you could do that. Thank you. Cool. We'll be back with episode 19. <laughs>